All right, so um, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be looking at um, another of the Wrangler Top 100 products. We're gonna be look, working on our JK back here in the garage. Um, so what we got here, um, so these kits are relatively new, what they're called is their interior trim kits. Um, a lot of people put these to customize their Jeeps um, on the inside because a lot of the new Jeeps don't come with the packages. Um, like the Sahara that I've got comes with the, uh, the upgraded um, so it's got some brushed silver um, cover pieces like on the steering wheel, on the, uh, the, the air conditioning vents, things like that. And a lot of the Rubicon packages and the unlimited packages don't have that. So um, some cool new products is that the Crown, people like Crown, Omics, um, have come up with these interior trim kits that you can basically just snap into place right over the, uh, the existing um, cover that it already has and uh, put those you know they have chrome brushed silver um, you can do custom green I'm sure you could do yellow it just it depends because um, they sell them um, they sell them like a raw plastic and um, a raw color plastic and uh, so you can have them painted you can do what you want I'm sure you could paint right over these and it wouldn't even matter um, but anyway so what we've got here um, we're going to show you what I'm going to be doing with these actually so um, these will go over the, uh, the little tweeters um, on the top there and on the top of the dash. Um, so as you can see, these just snap on right over. You can just snap them right in. Um, these ones are a little bit different, and I just knocked that over. Hopefully, I can. Um, these ones will snap right in, but I'm going to have to take the screw that's already in there and um, and then just bolt that in. It'll look really nice. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those. I'm not really sure. Um, sterile alcohol prep pad, that might be pretty cool. So um, we'll use that. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, move these out of the way. Um, then we're gonna be taking a look at this one. This one I believe is the gear shift bezel. Um, so I only ordered really what I needed. Um, and so something cool that these pieces have is uh, they have adhesive on the back, these red, red pieces that you can just pull off the backing and they'll stick really nicely on there. Um, this is, um, Either the gear shift or the cup holder, I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll figure it out right in between this video here, but I'm pretty sure it's the gear shift bezel. So, um, like I said, this is a brushed silver. The reason why I got this is because it matches with the Rubicon, um, the Sahara package, my bad, not the Rubicon package that I have um, on mine. So, here, these are the hood vent um, covers. Uh, Crown has complete um, interior trim kits that they sell. Um, we'll kind of show you in the next part of the video. I'll kind of point out some areas that uh, they'll go, but I just kind of ordered these specifically because they're only really what I needed. Um, Crown was nice enough to send these out to us. So um, don't really need these, but I'll show you where they go. Um, I've already got, with the Sahara package, like I said, um, they already come pre-installed on some of the pieces like the steering wheel, um, hood vent, and those are really the only two, and we'll just kind of show you. Um, the kit installed. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that here in two seconds. Okay, This piece that I'm doing right now, I'm actually doing one of the little tweeters on this side, so I'll kind of show you um, what I'm trying to do. But what I've been doing the last, well, <laughs> I don't even want to tell you guys because it's that embarrassing, but you know, the last 10, probably five, 10 minutes trying to unbolt one bolt and uh, just, it's just how, where it is, it's just so unorthodox. Um, I recommend getting a little, you know, a little child or uh, someone with little hands to do this or uh, have an extender piece. Um, so what I had to do was, I believe it's, I'm not sure what the socket size is, is I'll show you um, what it is here in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys how I got it in. Uh, I've got it like a little, um, it's like a U-joint almost. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, the tool that I'm using, it's basically just an extender so I can get in there. Um, like I said, it's a really hard piece. I'll kind of show you where it's at. So it's right behind there. Um, see where I've got the socket and uh, the socket head and uh, the wrench and stuff. Um, so you guys can see it's uh, it's flexed like that. It's kind of like a differential almost, um, the way that those are set up. But um, like uh, where the, the joint hits, where the, uh, the, the ring and pinion or the pinion goes. Um, but anyway, so got that. This was really hard for me to do. Um, the, it's just, it's so unorthodox. I'm, I'm sock, I'm wrenching it out right now. Um, so, like I said, it's beast.
Okay, so this is actually the cup holder bezel. I was wrong. This is way off, but um, pretty easy to install. Just snap right on. Um, just pull off the adhesive backing on the back. Um, I don't need to show you how to do that. What I did was I just took a knife to it, just pulled them all off. And um, so just make sure you press firmly. Um, I like to hold each side for about 15 seconds, so one Mississippi, two Mississippi, etc. Um, then I like to hold this side and then just kind of hold the middle for the same amount of time. And uh, so yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Um, so we got the tweeters on exactly both sides. Um, cup holder looks really awesome. Um, the boot, the bezel, the brushed silver looks really cool. So, all right. Alright, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. This is uh, another episode of Wrangler Top 100 Products. Um, like I said, you can get this whole interior trim kit in a complete kit. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Um, another cool thing that uh, this Sahara package came with and that uh, you'll get with your interior trim kit is these pieces right here. Um, these do come off, but mine just happened to come with this. Um, and then I don't believe they don't come with the HUD right there, but that, like I said, it just come with it just came with um, this brushed aluminum um, secondary color package. And so, um, so some of the things like they'll pull these things out, um, then you'll replace those with brushed silver. Like I said, um, these this is the kit um, that I was talking about. They'll put like um, trim kits on the the door panel right here. And uh, they'll go all the way up the, the dash, and uh, they'll cover this part right here. There's a lot of cool things that you can get for this part, This uh, these overlay kits that you can get. Like you can get, um, uh, what is it, like gunmetal gray. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other things that you can get. Some aluminum looking uh, pieces. Really cool. You can replace the knobs on here. We'll probably do that in the next couple of episodes here. You can replace um, these the knobs. the but I don't think you can replace the buttons, but... Um, Anyway, so, and then you can get like a gear shift bezel. They do have this for a manual um, Jeep if you're wondering. The only person that I think that sells those is Omics Auto or Omics ADA, whatever. Um, and I think that they may have one for back there too. I'm not so sure. Um, but anyway, so, it just depends. Make sure when you're looking at those kits to make sure that it's for the automatic and it's for your year. Um, sometimes a lot of people will order these and they don't know what make and model, especially with any part. You need to look at the makes and models and spec specifications on uh, the kit itself and the listing or wherever you're buying it from. Talk to the salesman, etc. Um, so anyways, <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been another Wrangler Top 100 product and I'll see you guys later.